We are always ready. Actually, we are never ready. So you can start any time you want. What's been the response? <laughs> What kept me away was I went back to doing other stuff here yeah, in my life. He's I was... lazy and he was in rehab. <laughs> Veronica is a female version of homie. Yeah. That's what Deepika said yesterday. The best compliment. I don't know about the best compliment, but I think the best feeling is that everyone is enjoying it and it's being accepted almost exactly the way we wanted to put it out in that we wanted people to just have fun with it, to feel good about it, and I think that has actually happened. So it's, it, that feels good. I mean, a uh, friend of mine just called me the other day and he said, you know, I was jogging at Marine Drive and I heard Tumio Bandhu playing at separate times from three different cars. So that kind of sh shit sounds, I mean, you, you feel good, yeah. You feel good when you hear all that because I think the fun we had and uh, doing this and putting into, uh, into it is finally sort of showing results and it was made to share, so. In fact, uh, the response to the trailer has been so good that we were actually thinking of just releasing the trailer and putting the end after it. So that no one has to watch the movie. <laughs> What's really strange is that not many, when we came out with the poster, him and me really liked it. But when we showed it to, let's say, uh, a, s lot of people. a lot of people, they felt that uh, you know, looking into camera, you can't see them clearly. So the traditional thought behind a poster that you want to see your actors clearly was not in this. Because what we've tried to do in this entire campaign is to capture moments. So it's like a Polaroid, the poster. And you're, you, we've not done a photo shoot for this. We've actually taken the working stills and made it because we felt we've had so much fun making the film and the characters, when we saw the film, it comes across that they're having a lot of fun and we wanted to capture those moments. And we found the, those in the stills. So that's how we actually, so it was a little different that we've gone, like a couple of other films have done that, but we wanted to capture that energy. And uh, retros it's, it's retrospectively, it's worked for us. But that was the intention behind it. What kept me away was I went back to doing other stuff here yeah, in my life. He's I was... lazy and he was in rehab. <laughs> <laughs> it's being referred to as Homi Adhajanya's comeback. That's what Deepika Padukone calls it. But uh, I think, uh, you know, after being Cyrus, we were trying to develop some scripts and uh, we realized which was the right film to make. And we had actually agreed on a film which was not similar but in the same space of being Cyrus. And when I read Cocktail, which was when I was making Love Ajkal, I really liked the story, I liked the characters, I thought they were very well defined, like Gautam, Meera and Veronica have three distinct personalities. And uh, I, just, I just felt it was very fresh, but I knew to take it forward, if I can get someone like Homi to direct the film, who's not, you know, who's not from the traditional thinking format, or is not from the business, uh, it would actually, it, it would have a different and a fresh take, and I think a lot of the fresh take comes from the way he's captured this film. He was very nervous when he read the script. He couldn't believe I was giving him such a big film. So he just wept and cried and fell on my feet and then... I and I, I soiled my chads as well. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it happens to me when I get excited. He was not willing to, he read it the first time and he said there's nothing in the story to tell. So, uh, so then I said okay, because he's also a good friend. Then we looked at, uh, which he was not as good after he said that, but, <laughs> <laughs> but then... No, I'll tell you, uh, when, they, when they told me the story, I actually felt that, uh, okay, it's great, but why, why do you want to tell this story? And I was still stuck in this sort of uh, space of thinking that, you know, it's, there's no twist and there's no psychotic shit going on. And so, I mean, let's, uh, like, what is it about? And I actually, I, I must tell you now, I mean, then there were various reasons why I did come around doing it. Uh, the main one being that I main one said, let me, didn't, I didn't, didn't know want how to me, do He it. didn't want me to make this film with anyone else. Uh, no, so I, I actually... Uh, Required a lot of convincing. Said that, yeah, but also I was trying to figure out at, at why, why was I not, why did I not want to do it? And I realized I didn't want to do it because I wasn't sure of how to do it. And as soon as I figured that out, I said I must do it. And it's quite... Crazy, but he, uh, Dinesh, actually, I'm quite impressed actually with the thinking Are you pattern. To think like the this. answer? No, but that he actually wanted me to do it because it was not familiar territory for me. And he said that that is what is going to give it its edge is that you don't know how to make this kind of movie. And now that it's done, I, uh, there is a certain complexity in, in the film also in terms of when you're playing around with human emotions in a love story, it gets very, very interesting of what you can. Uh, yeah, so it, it, there is a lot to play around with there. Sintias gave us the story, which was but, in a nutshell um, with a nine-pager. Special page mention goes and to... And his brother, uh, Sajid Sach Ali, myself and Dinesh actually sat and uh, developed that story into the screenplay. And when you start developing it into the screenplay, I think you can, uh, you actually start making scenes 
your own by putting your nuances in it and the graph of the scene. So we followed his story. It, it is Imtia's story, uh, and but we've sort of uh, made all the moments ours in the film, which I think is what where it changes. And his brother Sajid has also written some brilliant dialogue. This is important, and this is our love's sign. Your child, our child. This is not important. Please tell him this is his bun. In my oven. <gasps> the dialogues are between Imtiaz and Sajid, but uh, you know, Sajid has really, really worked hard on this, and you know, we took over a year to write this. And I think some of the the reason we took over a year also is because Sajid only works after one in the morning, so from one to six was the only time we could yeah. actually meet him. Go, go crazy is Gautam. Go wild is Deepika. And be go, real. Be real is. Nah, nah, yeah. Uh, Veronica is this sort of eternal wild child. Uh, Veronica is a female version of Homi. Yeah, that's what Deepika said yesterday. Meera is the 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 male female version, female male version male of uh, Dinesh. Male version. <laughs> Meera is this sort of Siddhi Sadi Delhi ki kudi who goes from the Delhi to the London for like a fresh start, and when she goes there, you know, for a new beginning, she leaves. Um, her parents have died early, uh, so she's been living with this aunt, and she gets a ray of hope by moving there, and things don't pan out the same way for her. When she gets in, but she meets Veronica, and uh, through Veronica and Gautam, she actually figures out who she really is. So uh, there's a journey for each character. So that's Meera. Gautam has actually got uh, the must. I think mola. yeah, he's 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 a very funny character. He's very endearing. He's someone who just says what he feels, without holding back, and uh, he loves loves women. He loves the company. But he of women. doesn't objectify them, which is yeah. so they're not predictable. It's not like yeah. So, but he'll just go and tell. I mean, if you find someone beautiful, he insists that he goes and tells her she's beautiful. He's that kind of a guy, and he loves having fun. So he's got a lot of Veronica in him in a certain way, but he's is a rooted guy. He's not. Uh, he's got a very strong sense of rooting in a certain way. So he's got a bit of Mira in him as well. So I think he's a blend of the two, except he's a laugh a minute.